I wanted to take the time in this video to go through a more specific feature of a meander, which is looking at its cross section. In a previous video, I had gone through the formation of the feature and annotated some photographs, but we could also potentially get a diagram of a meander in terms of a cross section and be asked to label it. So let's just quickly recap what a meander actually is. So a meander is a bend in the river and we have a fast current flowing on the outside bend of the meander, which causes erosion on this outside bend. Whereas there is a slower current on the opposite side of the meander, creating deposition, which is found on the inside bend of the meander. Over time, this process of erosion on the outside bend and deposition on the inside bend causes the meander to grow and move. As you can see, the change in shape of the meander from the previous diagram has slightly changed because erosion is forcing the meander to move further out, whereas deposition is building up the inside bank of the meander. This creates two features. On the outside bend, we call it a river cliff, and on the inside bend, we call it a slip-off slope. So if we were to think about the cross-section of a meander and literally draw a line from X to Y either side of the bend of the meander, we would get a, di a diagram or some type of shape that looks similar to on the screen. So I've put the X and the Y on there so you can refer to the previous diagram of the meander bend and compare it to this cross-section of a meander. So on the inside bend of the meander, we have deposition taking place because we have that slow current creating that slip off slope. Whereas on the outside bend of the meander, we have erosional processes taking place such as hydraulic action and abrasion, creating that river cliff because we have a fast current on the outside bend of a meander. So in an exam question, you could be asked to label a cross section of a meander and these are the type of labels the examiner would be looking for. I hope you found this video helpful and if you would like to recap the formation of a meander and oxbow lake step by step, I'll tag the link to a previous video in my description bar below.